going to be on the main. Sweet. Okay. Be ready in a few seconds, guys. Start the stream. Start streaming. Stop. That's not even what I wanted to do. Ten minutes later. A oh, fuck off. Pretty God. Hate the computer when it does that. It's like, e, don't you just not, dude? Why is there an extra episode? This episode's one to five. Disc plus entitlement to download episode six. Oh really? Allow to maximize your game with somebody's screen screen to tell the account or log in now. Ah oh, fuck, I have to do this. Sign in, join. Alright, I'll join. I've played a fair few of these games, but this is the first time it's ever appeared on my screen. Oh, this is shit. Can't fucking hide my password. Email, password. Whatever. How do I like pause the stream for a second? Is that possible? Okay, wrong button, wrong button. Okay, here we go. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna put in uh my random my random one. Because I don't use this one. Yahoo! I never use this fucking email. Yahoo is shit. And let's put in a shitty password. Change this afterwards. Bacon. Actually, no, I'm just going to put in my name. I'll do. Let me inform via email. I don't understand why, yeah. I successfully signed into it. Well, that's good. 
Ice Dragon. No bit. Can I actually download that now? Who are all these people? I'm just downloading this thing here. Louder, louder, louder than the DJ. Three gigs. Whoa. Big fucking episode here. Okay. In the background, downloading. Fucking hell, I'm just trying to. Back out. Another account. What does this do? Oh, right. Okay. Setting. Not usually much settings for this kind of a game. Yeah, well, we'll try and see what happens. I feel like playing something different, you know? Uh, turn down the music volume a little. Some of it sounds it sounds a bit like Lord of the Rings music. Different. Okay, it's time to play the game. Do 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 do. Northerners will never forget. And it should be interesting. See from a point of view from watching the show. Stuff. Be interesting. I like the way it changes by how you play. I mean, it's annoying in one way. Yo, De Kelly, you bastard! What's going on? Thousands of years, House Forster has been loyal barman to House Stark. In the dark streets of the wolves would be harvested by iron but the trees now in the north would be cut by war and rival house would be claimed. Thus on the fate of House Forester hands in the back. So this is House Forester. I guess I'm gonna be a part of it. This drink pleases me. Another the great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, both breaker, brought to his knees by the men of the north. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Pick up. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Now that is the proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You will never have a sword like that. And I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest, we are just a squire. Oh, don't ass. be an ass, Bowen. <laughs> Apologies, your lordship. I had Andy, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and him what? Capturing him! He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. Next he'll tell us he caught Tyrion too. <laughs> Shh! Let him finish. Oh, he'll talk all night if you let him. You captured the Kingslayer? Aye. Well, I'd have handed it. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What do I tell you? Brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. <laughs> I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. I'll say nothing. Your squire, you idiot. 
Fetch him some wine. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. <laughs> Tenzin right there. Not Tenzin. Navarro. His honor is beyond reproach. And House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> That's your goal. The night we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the king in the north! The, the king, king in the king north! In the north. <laughs> Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward! To Castle Rock! Ride! Death to the Lannisters! Winter is coming! <laughs> Winter is coming! Ride! Let's hope it waits till this bloody war's over. Got it. <laughs> yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. And what do you mean? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. So I'm no longer a squire? As of tomorrow, no. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight, and I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Roderick. Roderick, eh? Bloody hell. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Fine, but you owe me. Oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. Oh, I'm gonna see. That guy's gonna be jealous. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. It's just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk. A liar and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, boy. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Don't get angry with me. We're no different, you and I. I. But I'm not the son of a pig farmer. My father had dignity. Ah, you little shit. Of course it'd be like <laughs> that, I'm wouldn't you? Is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this. Which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. I'm sick of listening to your wine. With that attitude, you'll never be more than this. Easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were Castle, then I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, it's right over there. Yeah, walking for ages. In the stronghold of House Frey, the Red Wedding. Oh shit! <laughs> That's when it starts. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walders in a generous mood. Fucking phrase. 
nice night for a wedding. Oh, oh, oh. Not he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? Oh shit! I know, right? You're acting rather odd. We need to get back now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. Then take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. <laughs> but what about? What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? What's the rush? You don't need a fucking run. They've got weapons. Who brings fucking weapons to a wedding? We need to find Roderick. He's out there by himself. And I hate when I have to make decisions so quick. I always fuck this up. Fuck! We need to get back to camp! Fucking hell. Pop up on the screen is such weird time. Today, my lord. Find a weapon quickly. Traitor! 
Go, my lord, while there's still time. Yes, I'll, I'll follow you. Seven hells. We have to keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Well, the phrase says time's over. <gasps> Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. What the phrase you have to go. Welcome to the fucking tour. We'll do as you command. As you command, my lord. <laughs> you have served me well. I know I can count on you. I will do as you command. Uncle. <laughs> Tell him the North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Go. On oh, your honor, you must do this for your house. Go. Kill those fucking foresters! We love that. Saw that coming. proper intro well my video is definitely not gonna gonna get flagged Iron Born. Iron from Ice. I can walk around. Check out my badass sword. Hey, pig. Up. Look at the blood. blood. Fresh. Fresh. Just not paint. Dead pig. <sighs> Fucking dead pig, you bastard. That Kevin Bacon? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a story kind of game though all these telltale games are story based type games I'm sure you knew that I'm just saying it out loud look at the cart 
fascinating, isn't it? That's father's car. <laughs> Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Bet it may be coming, but at least still have his bacon. Kin on the fucking pig. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I'll draw my fucking I'm going sword. To kill you. Is that so? You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my Land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> and you're barely holding that sword. <clears throat> Fucking girl. I'll have that sword, boy. Hey, you'll fucking have it, alright? Fuck. You. <laughs> of course I'm gonna say that. And if I fail... I'm gonna piss. Oh, the way, it's Game of Thrones, so I probably am gonna get my ass kicked. Alright. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. You really are a pig farmer, huh? Watch it. <laughs> Fucking have it. <laughs> he just ran into him. <laughs> Off me, you prick. Sometimes I don't expect this stuff. Mercy, please. Mercy, I Maya. Think of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. No, uh. please. <laughs> Lord Whitefield will see you hang for this. That much I promise. <laughs> Oh, he'll remember it, all right. Father? Garrett! You survived! Your sister! She hid! I tried to stop them! I'll kill the men who did this. <laughs> yeah, he did. Adrenaline, man. Iron wrath. Stronghold of House Forester. That's a cool name, actually. Iron Wrath. It's Garrett. Get the Castellan. Tell him his nephew survived. Garrett. I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. Ah, the fuck? <laughs> it's fucking... Navarro again. Two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... 
She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open. Mm, maggot. Major. Ow. Yummy. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now, although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. He gave me a message to deliver. A message? About what? What did he tell you? Get my uncle. I was told only to tell him. Your uncle? I see. Must be rather important, then. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Talk to so good. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Ryan. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Hmm. The house. Go back, you fool. Oh yeah, you got a sore leg, I guess. At shield. An ironwood shield. Hmm. The strongest wood in the known world. The foresters owe their lives to this wood. 
and the weapons that come from it. Strongest wood, eh? <laughs> Dirty best. The Ironwood Grove. Fascinating. Obviously, we didn't get to look outside for some reason. Bullshit. Ah, my foot. We'll look at the medical supplies. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. <laughs> really? That's fun. I'll just keep on hold of these. Talk to the maester when you're finished exploring. This might help. Well, I'm gonna look around for a bit. See? Uh, no, you see there? You're limping again. I'm fine, really. Yeah, man. Actually getting a new phone soon myself just so I can have a decent battery. The one I have now is fucking shit. Such a shit battery. Like nothing else to do. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. <coughs> By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. Even a sword as strong as this would barely make a dent in a shield like that. Talk to, look at. What's the difference? <laughs> Keep moving, I need to see you walk. <laughs> Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White, Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Much fun. Killing! The White Hills want Forester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power and proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Who is the new lord of House Forester? Why, Ethan, of course. Ethan? Jeez. Why is, why is that even a question? At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is... challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I, I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I see Ethan? Can I leave now? Never mind. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is, but I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. Ha! <laughs> Gay. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrod. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my all lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrod, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... Not true, man. I'm so sorry. Nato. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Ooh. 
Who? Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. I'm sorry, my lady. Nothing could be done to save him. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed, if you can remember? He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. He demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. now the ah, the same voice again. Come on. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Getting sick of hearing. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. Oh, goody We're Ramsay. The ones who should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. If not now, when? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? What can Ramsay? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately... It will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, you can't send me away. We have no <laughs> choice, Garrett. Where would you boy pick. go? The one place that's safe, beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution, especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. I'll do what's best for the house, so I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it, then. Oh, shit. You can have my horse. And I'll see you have plenty of food, but we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Yeah, I have a fucking message for you. Come back here, you bollocks. <laughs> Teleported. Nice. nice one. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord White Hills' heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle to ride was the a van. ranger with the Night's Watch. <laughs> he promoted me. At the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock and... 
and I at Roderick's side, but... It was well deserved, Garrett. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept Ooh. your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this yeah. will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Ranger. <sighs> Iron from ice. Iron from ice. <laughs> Remember, I like that one. You represent Earth, House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll be strong. I'll be strong. I know you will. If it will. Oh, sad eyes. Garrett, wait! Okay. I'm not sure. What other types is there other than Ranger? Be safe. Iron. Iron from ice! Yes! Iron from ice! Cool breeze! Let's kick some ice! <laughs> Lord of the Rings, yeah. Some of it does sound like it's from Lord of the Rings, doesn't it? Hey, long road ahead. Ethan? Ethan! <laughs> Born later, yeah, probably. Seems like a smarmy cunt. I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well, and if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I win! Congratulations, your lordship. I'm him now? Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. <laughs> he was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never stupid. find you again. I'm right here, and I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here, and Asha, and, and Roderick. I do too, what the week? but Mira's in King's Landing and- Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. <laughs> yeah. Little fucking I miss guy. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. Sir Royland forgets himself. 
He doesn't know me or or what I'm capable of. What does Milt say? I don't know. But I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like like a man. He like taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training. And he never hey, smiled Tom. anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. Be I like game. you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I promise I won't change. Good, because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. You'll have to have both, I'm afraid. Well, You'll have to have since both. Since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the Lord. <laughs> oh, damn. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Quickly, on your feet, boy. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord... I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man, anyways. Someone should tell oh, him to leave shit, us alone. I, don't know. I might remind you, Sir Royland. I'm the new Lord of House Forrester, not you. Of course, my lord. It's okay. You should go. It's what must be done. Fine. Let's be done with it. Yeah, he's gonna say something later now, and it'll be like it'll be something like. Well, you are the Lord, so you have to decide that, or something. That's why it said he'll remember that. Because he's going to be like a prick later. Like, this is a decision you have to make. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you said you were the Lord. Now prove it. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men, Lord. Little shit. Uh -huh. Hi. Oh, kick your teeth in. Oh, of course you have to look like a pompous git. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. Thank you, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> my only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. You're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. <laughs> Game of Thrones, Tom, yes. And no bread and salt. 
What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord! You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye, and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries, you cunt. <laughs> of course you'd say that. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. We all serve House Bolton now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Hmm. All Game of Thrones, Tom, or are you trying to be funny? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attack for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. He was defending his family as any man would. But your men murdered them all. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? Answer me! I did. What? That was my justice to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. I'm not leaving. Until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady. Considering your losses and all. <laughs> this, twice. this is not over. It's over when my son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Yeah, fuck you, bro. Fucking that dick. That lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven, letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. I don't know what that means, but I, I was hoping he'd call him a cunt or something. You're a cunt. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Do it now! Your sister can help us. Oh, where are we now? Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. I know what I'm looking for here. Crap. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. 
Like Xena or something to him, was it? Hey. Ethan made this for me. Ethan. High garden brooch. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Look at or read. What's the difference? <laughs> Nothing. Didn't even do anything. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you. Spartacus. And I look forward to the day you can. Ah, Spartacus. Duh. I know that show. I watched it all. Yeah, that show it was always fucking sex in that show. <laughs> fucking every episode. Full nudity. Not a bother. Wonders made by man. By Lomas Longstrider. A gift Lomas from Roderick. Longstrider. <laughs> I hope to see them all someday. I hope to see them all someday. Because, you know... Don't want to be doing that, like. Well, yeah, you can, if you get over all the sex in the show, it's, I fucking love the violence in it. It's like 300 or something. Violence. Put them in there, then what the hell is the. That was. And the f some of the fights were awesome. First season was fucking awesome. I love that. Measure for mother or a window? What do I do? In the window! King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Hey, let's look out the window again. And not actually look out the window for some fucking reason. Can be, I'm a girl, I'm a girl, I'm a girl, I'm a girl. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful They're ally, both window. <laughs> especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Graphics in this area all was interesting. I like it though. I mean, it, it makes it look like a pastel painting or something, which is unusual. You know? But I like it. I watched that Scanner Darkly thing. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. Fucking come in, you can't. Wait for fucking me. No, it's fine. fine. I'll let you in, Come you in. little shit. Fucking walk in here again. I could be naked, you prick. <laughs> like not taking anything out. I mean, what you're the poor, hell? Lady, but you're right. Oh, now he is. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. Man, you're a dirty little bastard. <laughs> no, I don't you care that Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning. Outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? Oh, shit. Don't want to talk to that bitch. They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... You were eavesdropping? No, not at all. I was just passing by, and I heard them arguing about House Forrester and... House Forrester? I, 
I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cultural knowledge. <laughs> in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, milady. Good night, milady. <laughs> In the window, Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Oh, it is her voice. Come, cool. there's something we must discuss. I was hoping it'd be her voice and not some fucking pretend fucking voice. From the day you arrived in High Garden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden, a dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the north whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei Pretty cool, isn't it? cornered me this morning outside the royal sept. Well, that's like the official music of the start of the game, too, which I surprised by. And she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but... She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. Yes. I'll do as you ask. I guess I'll say it. I don't know what to do. I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. It's... See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Oh, receive you. <laughs> You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. I wonder, will this be the same woman? Good luck. Is she bald yet? No, I don't think it's at that point just yet. You can do this. You can do it. Do it! Come on, kill me, I'm here, come on. Do this thing. Yes, I always do Arnold impressions. Exactly what I do. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Eh, it's his voice. Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, Creepy face. allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Kneel? I guess I got a kneel, do I? I am oh honoured, your grace. Hmm. Yet not honoured enough to kneel, I see. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Her face looks weird. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Yes, your grace. To the one true king. The one true king. Yet she didn't say which. The girl is clever. His face looks funny as well. She only meant... I don't care what she meant. I care what she said. 
I won't stand for impertinence from a girl of the North. If you would give her the chance to explain... Perhaps she can explain why the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark for centuries. Yeah, she's House pretty good at being a bitch. Yes, Your ah. Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. Is it any wonder you were so impertinent to ask which king deserves your loyalty? If you have any loyalty at all. Damn, I don't know how to answer Is these. I'm like, should I be a prick? To your new liege lord, ah, Bolton. the Tudors. Roose Bolton also served the Starks, your grace. And proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Shit, Old Bolton are not fuckers. easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. To our mutual benefit, Your Grace. And at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. I won't dishonor myself, Your Grace. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought answers are the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? She was just following her heart, Your Grace. And the very same heart so quickly led her to my son. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it. Please with my answer. Well, fuck you. Don't give a can shit. Be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves, pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would- Let the girl answer the question. Go on. My loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern girl who thinks she can play games. Who do you choose? <laughs> ah, the king, of course. Today. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what to make of her. Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. But not very I fucked up like a lot of those answers. I wanted to say other things, but I didn't have time to think about the answer. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. What am I supposed to do? Like, she told me to tell her what she wanted, and then she gets fucking upset and says, Oh, I'll remember that. Well, fuck you. I'll Don't fucking you tell well. me that shit. This may stupid. come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Forgive me for saying it, but the Boltons have no honor. Ruse Bolton has many unique qualities. Honor is not one of them. That certainly took courage. 
to so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. Fuck. No doubt Lady Marjorie will forgive you. Fucked up that. Eventually. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie oh, might not look fair up to these such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far <laughs> too dangerous. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. You don't watch now, Game of Thrones, Tom. You don't know, man. Join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. A good actor, that guy. He's a good actor, Tom. That's all. He's a good actor. Mira, I was worried. Man, I fucked that up royally. How was it? Fucking, <laughs> I was trying to be good, but then I fucked it up because I was trying to be a bitch. It's more than a little intimidating. I'd rather not discuss it, if you don't mind. Of course not. It must have been horrible, but at least it's over now. Nosy bitch. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah? <laughs> what? Mm. It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. Which I doubt is Dornish for wife. You'll get us in trouble. We're just having some fun. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. <laughs> ghost. A ghost? Oh, a ghost. Would you marry Joffrey? <laughs> oh, if it meant dear. you'd become queen. He does have a certain look about him, and he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Joffrey. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect <laughs> match. <laughs> Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Uh-oh, she doesn't like me now. Well? Sarah? We're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can the be show, Tom, there's always up for talking. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am Queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have well, no some choice fighting but too. to love you. 
Do you agree? Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. Yeah, that was a good answer. Sometimes these answers me. Brave, I don't get them. I you must They're so quick. What the Boltons might do to your family. Like, if I there's one thing, but your means another. To appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. <laughs> I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. Okay, so I'll just let her stay. Although I'm not sure. Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. Yes, that is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you <laughs> otherwise. Dirty minded lady. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks, and now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. It is that tire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Yeah. You're the only one who can help me. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. So urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Haven. That's cool that all these characters are in it. I love that. You know, it really does make it seem different. Hey, we're back with this guy. Waiting for him. I came. More interesting than that woman. Oh, she. For fuck's sake, horse. Seriously? You can't even hold on to a horse, you stupid Seven twat. Hells. Seven hells. <laughs> That's a good one. I remember that. Seven hell. Let's play a little game, shall we? Oh fuck. Him. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? My best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have oh, fuck. full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. It looks more like Wolverine. Bloody noise. <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the warden of the north. He does now. <laughs> How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Shh. Listen. His hair looks 
fucking weird, man. Looks like a mushroom here. There. Hear that? I know I heard something. It's still. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. What are you looking at, Bob? Yeah, I swear he does. He looks like fucking Wolverine in this. <laughs> his sideburns look huge. And his hair looks like mushroom. <laughs> Yeah, well, I guess this is the last time I'll see anything new of him in this game. Yeah, he's a good actor. Iwan Leon. <laughs> you know his fucking name is mental. Oh shit, who's this? Hope it's someone we don't like. Someone... How many people do I even know? Upside down man here. Oh, look at that flag. Perfect. Bloody hell! Hey, who's that? Is that one of his friends or something? The hell are we now? Winterfeld? Lord oh no, we're back here. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But, 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house. And your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, Thorin who the seized Bold. back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. I want to be like that, like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must mm, be chosen. I can't remember which guy he was. Keep walking, you creamin' son of a whore. Move. <coughs> Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. <laughs> Trap. Judgment call. Lord Ethan. Missed. Why did you kick this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Is what Sir Roiland said true? Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if Thanks you're taking watching, what's bro. yours by right. He speaks He's true. Right. I've a family to feed. they are not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Mercy, no. Lord Ethan. I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <coughs> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers, three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. 
We can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Oh man, you're gonna lose Take your fingers, fingers, bitch. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. We'll be innocent, justice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Hey, send him to the wall? I'll do that. I sentence you to the wall, where you will join the send night's watch. The oh, please, my lord! My family, without me, they'll die! Yeah, well, you should have thought about that, you little shit. A lord's judgment. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Maester, what do you think? Me. Was I right? Yes. Did I do what's right? The wall seems like a fitting place for a thief. I only hope he doesn't find Garrett there and take his anger out on the poor squire. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. <laughs> someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Aha. Uh -huh. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as sentinel. Sentinel. Like your next Come man. speak <laughs> with me when you're ready to convene the oh, small ironic. council, my lord. Come speak to me. It's obviously him. The other guy's just a fucking angry douchebag. It's a bit too obvious, you know? You know? It really is. Oh, there's the cursor. Ah. Oh. <laughs> a little happy face on him. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine two brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget, but. I'm honored. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Someday I'll have a real one, but not like that one. <laughs> It's Only because he's family of the guy You'll who died. Sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. Evil fucking a real kid, sword. Jesus. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Angry little bastard. Hey, Gerd. Go get me a bag of sweets. Portcullis. Haha. <laughs> awesome. I learned that word fucking ages ago in history class. Portcullis. Now, when I say parry, get that sword out. Gonna make out with the screen. Okay, there's a few things over here. 
Iron wood shield. Iron from ice. <laughs> you know, I don't want to enter. No, cancel, cancel. Oh shit! Fuck! Which way do I go? I'll go back to him in a while. Uh, what else we got here? Malcolm, talk to this guy. Ethan, or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. Uncle, why are you packing? You're not going somewhere, are you? <laughs> Duh, of course me to cross somewhere. the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you in Essos. She insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. I know how to speak to her. I'm sure you do. <laughs> and later, my mother's yeah. fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. It's just like his. Hold, I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so in a sexy bold, way. Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice, and I'd trust him. Aye, Sir Royland is the man you want. You're right. Sir Royland seems the man for the job. We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. You promised me you wouldn't change, like, and I believe you. I can't afford any more mistakes. On a woman's ass. Thank you. being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? But what? Ethan, please. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Roiland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Good advice, woman. It's like uh, when you hit a woman from behind when you're doing the dirty. Come on, come on, what did I say? Swords off, slash right, parry, again. Sword up, swing left, sorry, wrong, I didn't know Sir dogs Royland. can hold swords. A word? Of course, my lord. Yeah, I guess that's I simpler way to say it. And I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defences? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot, ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. 
Thank you, Sir Roiland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Yeah. I don't know, there's something about him I don't like. I mean, he's obvious why, but... Are you holding a sword or a turkey leg? Well, this is weird how you have to walk all the way around. Okay, Duncan. Yeah, I like Duncan anyway. I don't like the other guy. Even though the other guy makes more good points. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Actually, I wanted to ask, why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. I only hope to give you an advantage, and I regret any action you disapprove of. That's a clever strategy. I do hope that's a good thing, my lord. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. No matter who I pick, give bracer. Look at food. I just look at the. Food. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. I trust you to make the right decision. We'll have to take food from the small folk and hope they can fend for themselves. If the house falls, they'd all be worse for it. I'll see to the arrangements, my lord. An unusual decision. Duncan, I've decided to name you as my sentinel. Congratulations. Why, thank you, my lord. I'm honored. But are you sure? <laughs> Shit. Ah, uh, no. I'm not even sure myself. Fuck yes, it, I have to make a decision. Of course. I'll just say it. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But first, you must summon the small council, my lord, to make it official. Right. I'll tell Maester Ortengrin to do it at once. You see, Duncan is trustworthy, but I get this feeling that he could You're do things behind my back. Week. That's all. I did give the bracer to him. What the fuck? Let's look at him. Yes, let's touch this wood. Mm, yeah. Very good. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? <laughs> What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. <laughs> Why not give some it's of our it. ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek, and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? 
Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. No. Oh. Shit. We should have went into the tower. Fuck's sake. I thought, like, once I'd finished with him, I'd just go into the tower. Sake. I hate when I... That's the thing about this game. I always, like, pick... Wrong objectives. Like, there is more objectives. Now this angry guy will be like, "Yes, you pay mid wrong decision." Uh, blah, uh, blah. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. There is no shame in losing. Whoever's <laughs> not chosen should feel no shame. That is the exact line of the carpet. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Who's that guy? The Royal and I don't like his name. Logan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle! This this is reckless! Lord You're Ethan fucking reckless, has you idiot. Made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, yeah, that's pretty Sentinel, much. Uh, yeah, that's what good. do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Yeah, that's a good Our thing. Our scout says only Ellie. a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Yeah. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Fuck. Ah, oh, man. Fight, diplomacy, bargain. My Fuck new sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? Yeah, I'll make him wait him at, him at the, the gate. gate. Fuck that. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. How many years have I served this house? 
I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Get out. You'll regret that, my lord. Stop being a fucking douchebag, then, you fucking read hurt. Apologies, my son. I had expected better of him. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's yeah, a skilled dodgy, fighter. Isn't he? But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said... Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out sure. half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. Ethan. Let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Sure. Thank you, Ethan. <laughs> hey, I'm thanks for watching, man. It's all good. This. Know that you never stand alone. All good. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Mira. Mira, Mira, on the wall. <laughs> Who's the fairest of them all? This little chapter one. Because I forgot how long these fucking things are. What do we got here? Strange key. Resident Evil. <laughs> Girl, family. Salmon. I'm in the key. Yes, I'm gonna take that thing. I did. Ha! That's not even examining it, for fuck's sake. Examining it is looking at it and... I'll take the keys while sure. I don't Marjorie? Oh. Fucking bitch. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. No. I want to help you if no there's bitch. anything I can do. Your poor family. 
I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Are you all right, my lady? It's on her face. <laughs> the king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. Forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> sorry, my lady. Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. Cautious. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Excuse me. My lady. My lady. Oh, shit. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long. long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Sure, Hopefully I I've proven you. I could be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... Wait, I'm just going to pause it for two seconds, guys. Take. Give me a second, guys. There's just friends that come home around this time, and then I have to have a quick look.
Ah, oh, forgive me, guys. I'll see you, man. Thanks for watching, bro. Okay. I'm um, gonna resume now. Well, hopefully, I'm near the end. People would be willing to help you. I just want to take a break because I've been playing this for. I don't know how long I've been streaming. For at least an hour and a half, maybe more. Okay, so creepy looking. He's like, you're up to something. You're fucking up to something. I suppose, yeah, the last bit will be Ramsey. Where's Sir Roiland? The man values pride more than honor. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. I hope so. You made the right decision, my lord. Bolton men approaching, my lord. Something wrong with your gate? Nothing wrong with my gate, douchebag. Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Now let me in. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? Why the hurry? Are you cold? <laughs> you know I am a bit. Fortunately, there's no shortage of wood to burn around here. Thank you, my lord. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our ironwood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. <gasps> not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Oh, you little bastard. Quite the army you have, Lord Forrester. Very impressive. Yeah. Sure. Some decisions I'm like, okay, that was a decent decision. And then other ones are like, oh shit. <laughs> Why did I think that that would be smart? Look at that. More Forrester. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you.
We really must focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father. Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. Okay. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. We will double our efforts for your father, my lord. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolt. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills done? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want ironwood for the next five years or the next 50 generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men <gasps> within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan... They'll help maintain the King's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. 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 <laughs> we'll lead the garrison. Griff. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, oh, twins. Well, like the queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like <laughs> the queen and her brother. Ooh. Interesting. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. <gasps> lord Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. <gasps> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? Ethan! <laughs> no! What have you done? No! But I don't Ethan! want a bold no. lord. <laughs> 
I knew something like that might happen. Oh, too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! 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 Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. Not Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your will. No! Kill him. If they give you any trouble. Brian! Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Huh. What did I expect? Fucking game as well. You brought this on yourself. Please, stop! Don't let it go! Let it go! Let it go. Stop the whole thing! Stop please. it! Bring them the ride! Do something! My son. Oh, because he's got an army, man. That's why. Because he's got an army. The story has begun. Time again as well. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until <laughs> Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? She. Oh, yeah, more people will die. Squire. You and 65% people stayed with Bowen. You and 62%. For loyalty to the king. You and 34% send Eric to the wall. You and 69% pick Duncan as a sentinel. Well, yeah, pretty much. You and 49% met Ramsey at the gate. <laughs> Everyone was half and half on that one. <laughs> Interesting. Papped. With shit on his face. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. It is an interesting one. Yes, yes. That was episode one. No. Oh. Do episode two instead. Episode two? Episode two! My choice. Actually, list my choices. Oh, cool. This is Codex thing. Oh, that's the. Oh, cool. Lord of Iron Wrath and Element House Dark. Rodwick. Rod. I don't think Rodwick is dead. He was under the horse, I think. He was fine. Asher, Forester. Doyle, second son. Hopefully I get to play as him. I kill do some fighting. Third born son. Second born daughter. Born. Where to Lord for brother. It's all interesting stuff that I will probably not read because I'm not reading. There's no fucking listening to do. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks, Tom. Thanks to Callie. You guys are awesome. Uh, made it much more interesting. I'll see you guys in the next stream. And as always, don't forget to blow shit up and beat shit down. Yeah. See you guys.